stop waiting for the right shoes now you probably have heard the quote a journey of 10,000 steps takes or uh, starts with one step now I would like to add a little bit on to that in that when you are taking that first step stop hanging around to find the right shoes now at the moment as I am recording this I am totally exhausted after doing a lot of gardening this past couple of days now our back garden it isn't it hadn't been in the best shape and like most men you know my wife said you know it's about time you tackle that back garden it's about time you tackle that back garden and like most men I said yes I'll do that in a couple of weeks I'll do that next week or the week later or whatever and time slowly went on and the garden stayed the way it was now what happened was we had originally had grass on the back lawn and in the estate where we live unfortunately we're on a bit of an incline a lot of mud had flowed down from the building uphill come into our garden and destroyed the grass so what the builder did at the time to fix it all up was that he replaced it all with gravel and if you've been following me for long at all you knew that we nearly lost summer a couple of years back because she ate a stomach full of gravel and nearly killed herself we had to get her operated on and get all the stones taken out so rather than going through that big drama again my wife says we have to get all those stones out of the backyard because she's going to do it again so again that is what i did for a while i tried to rake as much stones off the back garden as i could and i got all that sorted but i didn't go any further with it i left it at that and a lot of kind of tufts of grass were popping up here and there some weeds were growing up and you know to look out the back window sometimes would just depress you because it was looking it was turning into a bit of a wilderness and again it was angering my wife and you know but i kept saying i'll do it sometimes but you will find sometimes when you do actually draw a line in the sand and take action you'll be surprised sometimes how quickly you can actually get a job done so for whatever reason my wife she kind of got the ball rolling and she said that well i've got a ton of topsoil coming now in the next half an hour to get that garden done so sometimes my wife knows how to get me started sometimes i just need a good kick in the arse to take action but when the bag of soil turned up i knew that if i was going to start it i should start it right now so the way our house is laid out um, there's a garage at the front of the house now our sitting room is actually on the first floor and when you do go through our house and walk up the stairs when you do come to the kitchen you can actually walk straight out the kitchen and into the back garden so it's a kind of split level the street level is lower than the garden level so even though the garden is directly straight out in the kitchen it's one floor up so that is a little bit a bit of a pain in the butt in that I can't actually get I couldn't get that sack of topsoil lifted into the back garden it meant that I would have to carry that topsoil from the ground level up to the top level and then put it into the back garden so that's what I've been doing this past couple of days so anybody who's been following me and maybe realize I've been a bit more quieter than usual at the moment my arms feel like a gorilla <laughs> I almost feel like my knuckles are dragging on the ground because this past two days I have been moving three of those large builder sacks of topsoil I think it was three tons altogether and I had done it with <laughs> a little red bucket a plastic bucket and one of my son's one of the kids plastic spades now this is the kind of spade you would find at the beach for making sand castles and the bucket isn't anything fancy it's not even a builder's bucket we got it with just it was one of those buckets we got with a uh, a mop kit so you got the mop and you got the bucket included so it's just a simple bucket that i use to move the topsoil so what happened was i would put my little bucket into the sack and then i would fill it up with this plastic spade now imagine anybody going past watching this grown man playing around in this little sandbag with his red bucket and with his little red shovel and filling it up they probably thought i was making sand castles and the thing but anyway so what i did was i filled that bucket up and then i had to carry it up to up the stairs and then handy enough my eldest son matthew i could hand the bucket over to him then and then he could walk across the garden and tip it out and then later on then we would just kind of rake it all out so i forget how many times i had refilled that bucket i forget how many times i had walked up and down them stairs but after two days work and carrying three tons of soil over two days again as i said my arms are fit to fall off because i'm back to if i sneeze at all i'm just getting pains from places i didn't even know i had places but thankfully we got the three tons up and we got it sorted now you're probably wondering what the hell am i going on about my topsoil and my bucket and my spade and all those different things i thought i was talking about something else about finding the right shoes where am i going to mention the shoes bit well 
in that, you know, I probably could have spent, again, now it probably did take longer than normal because I did it the way that I did it, but I probably could have looked around for some device maybe to lift that soil up the stairs. I could have looked and waited to, or purchased maybe some kind of special shovel or some special bucket or some special device that would make my job a lot easier in some way of getting that sand or the topsoil from the ground level up to the first floor. So. I didn't, I just simply just started with a little plastic shovel and a plastic bucket. And sometimes we do, as I said, like at the start here, when we're going on one of these kind of thousand step journeys, we stop and we don't take our first step because we haven't got the right equipment. We need this, we need that, you know, somebody who maybe is trying to lose weight is probably looking, well, I need the perfect tracksuit before I go out on the street, or I need the perfect runners, or I need this, or I need that. You know, in fact, if you wanted to take a few steps, a pair of flip-flops would do you at the start, until you started making progress, or until you got money to buy those fancy runners, or whatever. But I'm here to tell you that, you know, if you are holding yourself back, because you haven't got the right software, you haven't got this, you haven't got the talent, you haven't got money, or whatever it is, and... You're using that almost as an excuse for not getting started. I'm here to tell you to start taking your journey, start taking the footsteps, even though you haven't got the right footwear right now. You know, you will find in time, as you keep progressing along, the money will show up or the talent will show up or the software will show up. Maybe the software you're looking at right now is the wrong one for you. And maybe when you do get started, you will find maybe something better will show up. So don't think that you need the right equipment to get started now. You could be me with my little plastic shovel and plastic bucket. It did get the job done. You know, two days later, I did get those three ton of topsoil up to the lawn. I have it raked off and it actually looks well now. And it's actually, my wife can actually smile when she looks out the back window instead of just gritting her teeth and wanting to wring my neck. So give that some thought today. If you are looking to take your 10,000 step journey, stop looking for the right shoes. Just pick what you have and get started right now and take action and the right shoe wear or whatever will show up in the future and then you can make the changes but get started get walking and start taking those steps right now so as always if you'd like to find more of these great videos and this great content do a search for Rightcom. you'll find it all over the web you'll find it in youtube itunes whatever you'll find it everywhere so if you are listening to this maybe on youtube if you want to subscribe to the channel click the little subscription button or if you listen to this as a podcast Again, subscribe on your little iPod device or whatever you're listening to it on and I'll send all the next ones to you. And as always, if you'd like to ask me a question, you can reach out to barryjmcdonald at gmail.com or if you'd like to find more about the site, head on over to Rightcom. At the moment, we have a great free report which is called Words to Wealth and in it, I'm going to show you 10 different ways you can make money from home with your keyboard. So if that intrigues you or you'd like to test it out, head over to rightcom.com. And as always, thanks for your time today. Have a great day. Bye-bye.